Okay, so we finally uh, got our event. Uh, there it is. Uh, we went two hits for 201 spins, so that brought us down to the 2455, uh, and uh, it's right here. Um, so we're now at 1804, so that means we went pretty much off the chart over here, up into the 4000, and then came back down to about right here. Okay, so we can see how that looks, like whoop, and then whoom, to about right here. So we definitely are increasing, uh, moving upward, which is what we want. Um, and we, this is a favorable event, ultimately, statistically. Um, you know, we're going to keep our eyes out for the black swan event, uh, which a black swan event looks like this. Um, right here. Here, see, that's a normal drawdown, normal drawdown, normal drawdown. If it does it twice before we're able to recover, this is a black swan event. Okay, so <clears throat> we're keeping our eyes out for that. What we actually want is a normal drawdown event with a normal recovery, and normal recovery, and normal recovery, and normal recovery, and a normal recovery. Same thing. So, but we get one of these moves. No, no, no. This is, I mean, like, from here to here. Okay, this is a normal drawdown. Oops, we didn't get a normal recovery. We got another drawdown. So, that's not gonna, that, that's, no. No, no, no. That's where we, uh, no. <laughs> Cut that off right there. So, um, okay. And that's what we're focusing on right now. We're, we were up here, came back down to about right here. So, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to start. I'm going to take advantage of the snapback. We just had a loss event. Um, starting a new session, and I'm going to bet uh, instead of two units, I'm going to bet three because we have a snapback event, um, and we're going to continue with our recording of the um, spins and everything. Um, and so here we go. supposed to be like that. Okay, here we go. So we should be getting a hit very shortly. And we have three units instead of two. And the odds of failure here are just like not even. It's like, let me see here. It looks just like this uh, here. Yep, we have a 99.99264 percent chance of uh, getting a hit within the progression. <laughs> so this is why I'm betting uh, three units here to, you know, move the incline up forward, like we talked about in a previous video, uh, and that's very important because right now, especially, we're in a race against expectation, and we need to. We're already behind by 50 something coups, right? before another black swan, I mean, another uh, progression loss is due. So we need to raise our profit as soon as possible. This is the best time to be doing it, which is right after uh, statistical uh, progression loss. And that gives us the best odds of getting a hit. And so this is the time to raise the incline. And actually, it's the only time when I raise it twice in a row. After a progression loss, we haven't got a hit yet. So, um, you know, so the, the hit is going to give us another statistical event because that's, that's that's going to be a hit in even more spins. You know, so it's just uh, it's a double whammy. It's a double um, statistical event that I'm taking advantage of, and uh, so. This is the time to do it. Right after, immediately after a, a loss, is the greatest chance of not getting another one. So, move the incline upwards while we can. Now, the pattern on the drawdowns. The first draw, the first progression loss that we had, was it about thirty percent? 
over expectation. Now we're at 50% over expectation. So that's actually an increase, uh, which is very interesting to note. It's sort of like um, a downward uh, spiral as far as expectation. We don't want to see that. That's not what we want to see because you now we're at three units. So here we go. And we want to see, uh, we'd rather be behind in expectation rather than ahead. Uh, I mean, sure, we, we took the profit. We've taken additional profit, went up to 4,000 units, and, you know, tripled our drawdown am amount. But, uh, you know, it makes it like the bigger that number gets, right, the, the more that we are ahead of expectation and the more the expectation before you know these loss events the longer they're the more they're behind the more that they're overdue is the more dangerous it is that we get two in a row see and that's the game that's the game that's going on in the background we're statistically gonna hit two in a row you know hopefully never but you know it's it can happen it in you know it's uh not impossible. Uh, the, the odds are not, uh, well, that's an interesting question because each win, each coup event changes the odds. So, um, right now is the least odds possible of getting another one. So, uh, this is why I'm raising. And we're at th three units instead of two. So, very interesting here. Um, so we, so anyway, I'm keeping my eye open, you know, as the expectation deviation goes upward or downward, if you will. In other words, we're getting less, even less uh, drawdown of uh, progression losses than ex expected, even less now. So this, in, in, in my mind, increases the danger. So. That's what I'm noticing. Um, but, but you know, having this loss event does release some of the statistical pressure. So, I mean, I'm glad that the loss, this event is occurring. Um, so there we go. It's very helpful that it's occurring because it's releasing some of the pressure. Um, and the, oh, there we go. Okay. 75 units. Now that's because the progression is um, incline is up. We got okay, so we got seventy five units. So that is awesome. Oh, I forgot to set the goal. Uh, that's something I can discuss on this video as well. Um, let me just record this hit first. Okay. Now our target is what I wanted to discuss. Okay. Um, what we're actually looking for, there's two different ways of defining a target. Um, the first is, uh, let's see here, we were up at here, 42.16. Okay, so what we're going to do is take 42.16 um, times 0.75. Okay, that's uh, 31.62. Uh, 31.62. And that's going to be our target. Or um, 51 coup events, okay? So because that's half of what's uh, that's half of a uh, a full due uh, progression loss. That's how I've done this. But now if the other thing to notice is. If we take 51 coup events and we add it versus the 56, that's going to take us over expectation for another coup event. So it's very interesting to note. See, this is what I'm talking, what I'm talking about with with the danger, statistical danger. Um, so I'm noticing this situation that we're in, and so we're we've got to be aware of this stuff. So anyway, we've got a good start at 75. Um, that's bringing us up. Okay, so let's uh, start a new session. And this is a snapback event also. So I'm going to bet 
This is the only time I do this. I bet three in a row. I bet uh, three units again twice in a row instead of two units. Okay, because we're look at this. We're normally supposed to be at 111 spins. <laughs> we're at 269. All right, and uh, so you know, geez, just like way over and. Uh, um, so, taking advantage on the second snapback, it's the only time I bet two in a row like that. It's right after a progression loss. And I think I'm going to get a hit any moment. I just think it's going to be very early, like it normally is. And then it's going to come around at any moment. You're trying to ask me what the odds are of it. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't tell you. I have no idea. But it's like, it's better. It's even better. It's, uh, the odds are like massively in our favor so I expect to hit early but it doesn't have to hit early um, the statistics only well there it is <laughs> for 81 units now so we'll take that and let's see here yeah that's uh, that's how it works I mean that's how normally how it works <laughs> I was going to say, it doesn't have to be early. It doesn't. I mean, the statistics, it just shows, it just normally does show up early. It's what we normally see. Um, that's why I was saying that. But it doesn't have to be. The statistics are, will be valid all the way up to the very last spin of, a, of the progression. You know, it's so it's just as valid if you get a hit there as if you get a hit on the very first spin. It doesn't make any difference. Um, now we're going back down to two, okay? Now we go back down to two units, okay? And well, let's go ahead and... Uh, now because it's 200, what we're looking for is basically I, I divide the, sesh, the recorded sessions into uh, 200 units each, and then I analyze. And so that's just how I do it. I mean, uh, you can do it any way you want, really. But that's why I've decided to segment it out. You know, take a breather, look around, try to figure out what's happening. I, that way I don't get caught up in, the, um, I don't know, mania, you know. So, just going to probably grab one more coup, one or two more coups here, and we'll call it an end of the video. And I demonstrated the double snapback technique that I use. Um, here, yeah, we're way, way behind here. We're supposed to be at 148. We're at 291. <laughs> I mean, that's like over double, right? Way over double, so significantly over double. So, yeah, we're... We should, we, I'm expecting a hit here really soon. Okay. Um, obviously, the later the hit is, I mean, the better. <laughs> uh, because, again, we're trying to relieve statistical pressure somehow here. We don't want to do... Uh, too good. <laughs> it's kind of weird. You kind of want it, you know, you want a recovery, but you don't want it to be too good of a recovery because then, you know, what about the snapback on that, you know? So, it's it's got to stay aware out here. That's the only thing that is going to allow us to win is staying consciously aware of our statistical environment. It's the only thing. We've got to be aware. We can't be blind like I was when I first played this. You've seen the post, you know, or if you haven't, go to the forum and check it out. But you can see where I was told. I mean, maybe you can't because you. I have to explain what I did. But, yeah, I was totally blinded. I actually sat in a session, didn't move, didn't do anything, didn't change a thing, and went 2,100 spins and, and lost, like, 15,000 units. <laughs> It was just like insane that I did that. I mean, it's nuts, you know, and we can't be like that. Okay, there's no way roulette is going to cough up a win uh, uh, consistently with that kind of um, play. It's just not going to happen. That's not how roulette is. It's just, no, <laughs> roulette is way too difficult to beat, way too difficult, okay? You know, and uh, it requires conscious efforts. Okay, so that's why I'm breaking up the sessions. That's why I'm analyzing the statistics and following them. You know, and I mean, I'm very, I, I expect a loss. I know when a loss is due. I'm expecting it. You know, I'm preparing to deal with it, and and I'm aware. Hey, if there's a double drawdown before I can recover. 
It's a black swan event. It's time to it's time to change tactics. We're in a black swan state. We need to change tactics. We don't just fight into a black swan state and just you know burn units. We're not going to do it. This is not going to happen. You know we're gonna we're gonna wait for that state to change. You know period. And that's just how it goes. You know I'm not gonna throw just throw units down the drain for no reason. No way. You know, it's difficult enough. And that's a technique that this one guy uses that works for him, you know, and he and he teaches it as part of his, um, you know, when he t teaches people how to play roulettes, this is what he teaches them is, he, you know, <laughs> pay attention out there and uh, you don't have to keep betting. <laughs> you know, you can let the worst of the worst go by. That's that's the technique for survival. It's not. See, the difference is some people will do this on the front end, okay, where they're constantly doing this, okay, and uh, that's not the reason that uh, you know that I do that. the The reason I do that is only not to improve the odds. I'm not trying to improve the odds at all, because I can't. It's not. That's not the purpose of it. The purpose is to avoid successive downward losses, successive downward drawdowns, okay, and that just get out of that because it's it's a statistically abnormal event. We don't see it. It doesn't, it doesn't happen, okay, and when it does, it's abnormal. It's isolated. You don't see it over and over and over, and so this is why, you know, we can afford to just let it go Make sure it's ended. Make sure it's ended, and then get back to a statistically normal environment. Okay, and uh, I've constructed the odds so that it's the best. You know, that it has, I have the best possible chance, pra practically speaking, um, of of keeping it that way. So, you know, this is what I've done. And this is uh, my, I'm drawing the law, my, my line in the sand here, you know, with this. This is, uh, this is the black swan event that every system faces, okay? Every system is going to face that, that, that day, that day where um, nothing goes right. It just keeps going wrong over and over and over, okay? And uh, so we have to be aware that that's out there. And it's going, it's, you know, we hope it never happens, but, um, it happens in every system. It happens. So, and I have to be aware of that and I can't put my head in the sand over it, you know, cause I'll just get killed when it comes by. I got to be prepared and ready for it. So, and this is interesting. We're going outward even farther here, which is, I think is good. I think it's letting off steam, statistical steam, which I like. I want statistical steam to be let off, but now we have a snapback event. You know, we just hit a snapback event. So this is going to prolong the length of this video now. Um, so if we get a hit, we're, if we get a hit, yeah, if, if we get a hit, it's very extremely due right here. Um, we're going to have a snapback, so I'll demonstrate that too. Why not? Um, but first, let's get that hit and go from there. <laughs> Yeah, look at this, 91%. There it is, 91.52. Yeah, and I modified the software the, um, that calculates the repeat. Okay, uh, I, I now have two figures. I'll show that. As soon as I get a hit, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about on that. So, 92%. I mean, this is amazing. I've got four hits in 374 spins. That's pretty dang, pretty dang messed up. Um, okay, there's 18. I mean, is it possible to get tagged here and go a full progression? Yeah. Does it? Is it? Did it happen? No. <laughs> um, okay. So. 
at 99. Let's take, now let me demonstrate. This is a snapback event. Okay, we know where we are. Um, okay, we're at 93.38 percent. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and open up the software, and I can show off the new modification, which is uh, here. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, and our base percentage is uh, 93.38. Okay, the full percentage is the is it's going to go up to that point, which is 99 spins. But then we're going to go all the way out to the full progression, which the full progression, as you recall, is uh, this whole thing. So instead of going or nine instead of going just to here and saying what's the chances of this repeating just from here to here why do that we have all of this <laughs> left let's include it okay so 99.09 percent is the actual um, full percentage okay so 99.09 and uh, so this is a powerful tool here, and now we can run it and see what happens. And it improves our statistics to do that. Why not take a look at the full picture? So, bang. All right. So here we are. Uh, and that's going to be uh, 69,512 uh, divided by 16 million equals. Okay, there it is. It's going to be uh, a minus one plus 99.57 percent uh, chance, and uh, that's 99.57 percent chance is better than 99.09. So I'm going to take advantage of that statistical increase and uh, do another snapback. Okay, so now we're going to go back up to three units again. Okay, this is an ended dead session. Did I record it? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, I, anyway, um, <laughs> let's see, that's uh, spin number 99. <laughs> Help! Uh, spin number 99. Okay, here we go. That was uh, 16 units, okay, times 2, so that was 32 units. Okay, so, is that right? Yeah. I hope so. It might have been 31 units. Ah. Anyway. Um, no, it couldn't have been. So anyway, 32 units. I'm, I don't know what it was. I'm just, the thing told me it was 32. So that's, I'm going to run with 32. And by the way, that's 156, 188. So, okay. Anyway, back to our snapback event. And we're going to go three. So back up to three units now. And here we go. Way beyond expectation. We're shocks. Where was Oh, that was a hit, by the way. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. So we're supposed to be um one, two, three, four, five. So we're supposed to be at uh, 185. And we're at 377, which is like way over here. Dang. You know? So this is a wonderful time to be raising. So Let's go ahead and uh, see how quickly we get a hit here. I expect a hit immediately. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, if it wants to go out farther, fine. You know, release some more steam. That's great. Go beyond the expectation for me. I'm just going to be happier. Um, but I expect a hit immediately. I expect a, a turnaround, a snapback. You know, that's why I'm betting three uh, units. So, let's check it out here. See how fast we get a, uh, a hit? You know, and it's true. The later the hit, the better. The safer I feel. You know, the the, the more outside of expectation that I can get my hits, the safer statistically that I feel because, uh, you know, it puts statistics in my favor, which is what I want. Instead of having, you know, a situation where I'm getting a lot of hits in uh, – back-to-back, -back and you know, a lot of uh, early hits, you know, that are, like, less than expectation, or, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, you start piling those up, and, uh, you know, over time, and 
you're just like you can get so much uh, good statistics that it brings bad statistics. You know that's the problem where it you get the black swan event. Like you know you get too much goodness, it's going to attract a black swan event. You know so. And anyway, that's the reason we track statistics so we don't get wiped out and or you know we're consciously aware so we don't you know we don't uh, have our chips raised in in a situation where we, where we should have known better and should have lowered our chips. Now I'm not saying we can't get caught anyway. Of course, you know bad statistics can come out of the blue whether they're due or not, right? Um, you know, abnormal events can occur, and that's part of roulette as well. Um, but I'm just saying, why be blind to situations that we could have rectified? There it is. So 18 units. That was an unfortunate timing, but it was fast. I think it was fast, within expectation even, so the before, less than. So 18 units. Um, see if we end the video right here, or we just go for another hit. I don't know. Let's see. So that's going to be uh, 50, uh, 131. Yeah, that's going to end it right there. Um, go ahead and continue to record so I can just, I don't know, see if there's anything I need to talk about. 75 plus 81 plus 32 plus 18. Okay, that'll be um, plus 206. All right, and we've got um, 1804 plus 206 plus, that's 2010. Okay, and now we have, uh, let's see, that was 259. Two, one, two, three, four. So we have four. Uh, so that's actually going to be 263, 263, and four coups, okay? Because remember, our goal is either 3162 or 51 coups. And that's this is questionable as to whether we want to stay at 51 coups, right? Because we're already 56 coups over. Okay, um, you know, so that's, uh, you know, 56, 57 coups over. Um, and that's it. That's going to end the video right there. It's the recording of the session, and that's how it works. That's how the snapback works. And I'm going to bet at two units. I'm at level two. All right, so I'm going to bet at two units until we get a... It's another snapback event, and then I'll raise up again for one time, and then go back to normal. Um, and that's how I'm moving the incline up, and we're just going to be watching this. This is a dangerous situation, again, with statistics, so we're just going to watch it as we go. So thanks for watching. End this video now. Have a great day.